the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The 46th Psalm God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore we will not fear, though the earth gives way, though the mountains be moved into the heart of the sea, though its waters roar and foam, though the mountains tremble at its swelling. There is a river whose streams make glad the city of God, the holy habitation of the Most High. God is in the midst of her. She shall not be moved. God will help her when morning dawns. The nations rage, the kingdoms totter. He utters his voice, the earth melts. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. Come, behold the works of the Lord, how he has brought desolations on the earth. He makes wars cease to the end of the earth. He breaks the bow and shatters the spear. He burns the chariots with fire. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Today we remember the blessed Dr. Martin Luther. On February 18th, in the year of our Lord, 1546, Martin Luther died. His soul was taken to heaven. His body remains on earth to wait for the resurrection of all flesh, on that day when Christ the Lord returns on the clouds in his unveiled glory. During his life on earth, Martin Luther of blessed memory saw the glory of the Lord as hidden in Scripture, and he taught how to see this glory. One of the ways that he taught that was with his hymns. His most famous hymn is A Mighty Fortress, which is based on these words from Psalm 46. This hymn is an example of how to interpret the scriptures in the proper way. This hymn shows that the key to understanding the scriptures is Jesus Christ, our Lord. While some may take a look at psalms like Psalm 46 and other portions of the scripture and start to ask, what does this mean to me? How does this make me feel? And how, how, does, how do I understand it? In this hymn, we see that the way to understand the scriptures is by looking for Christ, not really looking for myself. The second verse of that hymn reads like this, With might of ours cannot be done, soon were our loss effected. But for us fights the valiant one, whom God himself elected. You ask, who is this? Jesus Christ it is, the Almighty Lord, and there's no other God. He holds the field forever. You ask, who is this? Jesus Christ it is. He is the one that this psalm is talking about. He is the one that all of the Psalms are pointing to. He is what the prophets, the law, all of the scriptures are pointing us to. The scriptures point us outside of ourselves to the perfect life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. And in him we have comfort for this life. We have the hope of everlasting life in him and in him alone. In Jesus' name, amen. Let us pray. Dear Lord Jesus Christ, we thank you for the gift of the Holy Spirit through your word so that we may come to know you as our Lord and as our only Savior. We thank you for showing this to your servant, Martin Luther, who is with you in paradise. We ask you to give us the same measure of that spirit and so that we may always proclaim you as the Lord and Savior of the world. In your name we pray. Amen.